Okay, so here we are for round two. Now, I just realized I actually only brought one placemat as a trial. I actually didn't buy more. So, I have to do the clock. So, all as I've done is just put a little bit of blue tack where the parts of the clock were, the hole in the center. Um, I'm going to have to remove that probably after, a, I'm going to say an hour after it started setting a little bit. But I, I really don't know. I don't know. I Again, I haven't done it. I haven't even looked at how people do blooms on clocks. So we'll just have some fun. See how we go. So paint down. Give it a bit of a spin. Still a little bit off center. Not horribly. I think I need more paint. I never realized how much paint you use when you do these blooms. Well, yeah. So it span better the first time. So I'm just picking up my tub to try to bring, move that paint down this other way a little bit. Hope I'm still in camera view. <laughs> All the paint at the bottom of the tub's moving. Oops. I might just move it a bit myself. I can see the little bit of blue tack there. So that's my must be my middle. Let's just, I'm just gonna go for it. And maybe a little bit more paint just in case. I don't wanna have not enough. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one that does these types of I'm just going to experiment and not really, I've got a game plan, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm doing. I'm using a fair bit more paint than I had been. Um, a little bit of black, I think it was. I still think there's a little bit of dried paint in that nozzle of that black. Now I'm going to try and use more of this because I, I, I want more of this colour to come through. I don't want it to completely disappear so I'm going to do that way and then that way. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh. Can't believe how fast my heart is racing. So I'm going to use two full spoons this time because it's a bigger piece of wood. I'm not going to let that settle. I'm going to get stuck into it straight away. Okay, now that's looking a little bit better from the start. Let's hope it looks better at the finish. So I've been wanting a new clock for my wall. I just hope it doesn't do that tick, tick, tick noise because that will drive me mad in my room. So, all right, I'm gonna spin. Let's hope it's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Now I think this is supposed to spin the opposite way. I don't know how I'm going to do that. No. I'm going to throw paint all over the place. I can't do things left-handed. Um, oh no, and I look like I've got a little bit of paint in it. Oh well. One more spin the right way. So I'm going to grab hold of the bit that I want to come off. I 
Okay. Still don't have a lot of the teal um, or ring neck blue. It's kind of a tealy colour in there. <sighs> um, I wish I hadn't have spanned the wrong way because I got that one little bit of paint there which will annoy me. But I think overall I might do one more spin and see if I get anything. I'm going to hold it here. Just try and, I think I actually need a higher spinner because this one I can't really get my fingers under. I clean my hand. So I don't mind this. Apart, only one thing I don't like is that. But the rest of it I like. So I'm not actually going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it. For the moment, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist i'm just trying to get things right even though i am normally pretty perfectionist i don't like doing things wrong i like to keep going till i get it better but i don't want to mess things up too much so i think i'm going to leave it as that The one advantage I think I have about having a whiter centre is that is where the clock hands are going to be. So it's going to be a little bit more um, hidden anyway, so much. And yeah, I'm, I am pleased with it. I don't know whether my little um, Coke well, water bottle nozzle is right. I think I probably need a little bit bigger um, opening. So I'll have to keep searching the house for something a little bit more different but this is what I had at the last minute and I'm slightly impatient where I wanted to do a bloom because my spinners arrived and I wanted to do it right now so I am going to get the camera down and show you some close-ups okay here we are so, I'm quite pleased with it. I'll come down here and look. It's got some pretty groovy lacing. I can see some of the blue in there. I actually might do this again next time when I've got another placemat to do with blue at the bottom and then purple on top and see what colours I get then. Going around. More lacing. So this is actually part two of the video. So there's that one bit where I spanned the wrong way and paint flicked everywhere. But if I try and fix it, I'm just going to make a mess and have to restart the whole thing again. But the cells are looking fantastic. Or lacing. I um, <laughs> haven't got used to all the terminology right yet. So the middle is relatively white, but like I said, the clock hands are going to be right there anyway. So it's probably a good focal point um, to actually see. So this is part two out of the video because I did the first one on a placemat and this is the clock. So I'll just run through the ingredients I use quickly. There is my house paint, which is um, British Paints Low Sheen Interior White. The colours I am using are black, so Mali Ringneck Blue from Boom Gel, Willy Wagtail Black, which is a Boom Gel stain, and Native Violet Purple, which is a Boom Gel stain, and my port, my cell activator was Holcroft titanium white one part to three flow troll three parts 
and that's it. So I can get the blooms without actually having to make up all those extra ingredients, just using the boom gel paints. Um, the only thing I have to make up is the cell activator. So you just buy the house paint, buy the boom gels, and make up the one cell act activator, and that is it. So I think it's a lot simpler than having to find all these extra ingredients, which I will do, but when the ingredients become available again, because at the moment they're just so difficult to find um, or impossible to find. So it's just, it's just because it's 2020. Um, yeah, it's that year where everything's impossible. But I'm really happy with it. And my spinner is just ones I got from eBay, which I've seen others use, which are just these cake spinners. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching my videos. Subscribe, share, like, leave comments, and um, enjoy. And yeah, let me know if you want anything different or if you have advice for me. If you think you've seen it done a different way which would be better for me let me know because i love learning and i love having fun enjoy your evening everyone and i will see you next time bye